Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So at our house, our love language is pens. And sometimes the love language is inks. But today it's a very special day for me. And I just want to say that I got a very special gift from my husband. And it was actually quite a surprise. We've been talking about me getting a Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with a Falcon nib for, oh, at least a year now. And instead of a Custom Heritage 912 with a Falcon, I received this today. And that is a Custom, I'm sorry, not a Custom Heritage. Yeah, a uh, 823 with a Falcon nib. So I didn't know they had that, and apparently they only have it in Japan, so he went ahead and ordered it straight from Japan, and there it is. There's the beauty. I had to ink it right up. I have not written with it. I didn't want to ink it on the video because I'm kind of terrible at it. Uh, with the backfill, it's going to go everywhere. Plus, I had to use an ink miser. So anyway... It arrived like this in a just a cardboard sleeve with some information that I still couldn't tell what it was. And if you want to see it, that's what it said. And then it has this box that is their kind of classic plastic clamshell. And in it, it just says Type P Fountain Pen. So I still wasn't quite sure which one it was. And... There it is. So still has a sticker on it. Yes, I will most likely be removing it. I don't like removing stickers. I don't know. It's just one of those things. So there's the the band and it has the three stars and it says custom A23 on it. And then it has the pilot on um, written on the, the top clip here. And it is a vac fill. And then this really amazing nib so let's talk about that for a minute i have my uh my own like namiki falcon and i have a video on that in fact i'll grab it in just a second i didn't think to do that because i'm so excited about this i'll grab the namiki and also show you the fa nib but here's this one so pretty and um it has the side indents here that you can tell and that gives you the bit of the flex. You don't want to flex the heck out of this uh, because you don't. You're, you'll ruin it. And then it has that feed there and a really nice uh, smoky, uh, I think it's smoky amber color. So just a beautiful pen and I can't wait to use it. So let me go and grab my um, Namiki and then show you the, the comparison. All right, here I am with my Pilot Namiki. Yes, it's a Pilot Day. And uh, this one I've had for a few years now. And it just says Pilot Japan on the band and is a lot smaller, actually, than the A23. So the A23, let's bring it in. There we go. All right, so the A23, when it is capped, is right below six inches. So it's like 5.9 inches. And then the Namiki is coming in almost at that cigar band part, not even five and a half inches. Where is it? It's like 5.4. So it's coming in a lot shorter. And then if you uncap it, whoa, that is going to roll. That is at 5.15. 5. Oh my goodness, that's scaring the heck out of me. I don't want you to roll. I don't normally do this on top of books, but you know, here we go. Okay, and then you can see just how much smaller that is. All right, let's put this down. Let's put it down so you're not rolling anywhere and I'm not freaking out over my new pen. All right, so that looks more like 5.1. Um, uncapped this guy is like 4.9 so you know um, I guess it is shorter but not too terribly all right so there's the two 
Yes, you can post both. I will not be posting because I don't like it getting scratched, but also I don't need to post. So there it is. And you can post this one as well if you want to. I didn't realize it's going to be a comparison video, but you know, sometimes you're talking about one pen. You might as well bring out the other one. Okie dokie. Let's look at the nibs. Check out the difference in size. It's the same Namiki um, nib. This one is a falcon nib. Is that? No, I mean, they're both falcon nibs. I don't know what I was just saying. So you can see more of a, a curvature in this one, kind of a bump where this one is not, it's fairly flat. So there is a, a difference in that, but look at the difference in the feed. So you have a lot more venting there. I, I call them gills, I'm sure that's not correct. And you can correct me down below, but uh, there's the difference in the feeds as well. So there is that. And if you'd like to, I'll put the link for my Namiki video. I think, uh, no, I don't think, the Namiki Falcon has been one of my favorite pens. And so that's why just trying out the FA nib at the Dallas Pen Show was pretty amazing, I have to say. And so anyway, just wanted to, to check that out. And I think I'm still in shock, honestly, just, just telling you. All right, so the very first test is going to be on bad paper, which is usually my favorite to write on. And I'm using Urban Le De Te, which I love tea, so that is highly appropriate. Plus, that brown is so pretty with this auburn, don't you think? Well, you haven't seen the color yet, so you can let me know what you think of that as well. So this is... Oh, goodness, I'm so excited. Oh, my... So this is the very first time I'm writing with this. beauty that is just so pretty and it's such a joy to write with and the nib is a fa which is a falcon nib and it gives you such a lovely bend and variation in line which you're going to see in just a minute And we're going to do this. And there we go. It's almost a perfect match. So pretty. All right. Just going to get over myself in just a minute. Oh, what a dream. You know, I've been wanting this pen for a long time and to have it as a vac fill, pretty amazing, I have to say. So big thank you to my husband if you're watching this. And I just think it's quite wonderful. You can see how wet it's writing uh, with the ink right there. So right off the paper. You can also see shading with the Le De Te and the way that the falcon writes so it's going to show your ink off it's going to just be quite lovely when you write especially on good paper so let's try a little bit better paper which is my rhodia dot pad Is it a custom E23 or is it just an E23? Sometimes I make stuff up. Okay. 
can even see that on there. And a writing sample. I don't hear any feedback really. I mean, it's very, very slight. I'm used to writing with dip pens, which is very scratchy. So this is extremely smooth and it can actually give me kind of the same line variations, not same, but similar. But I just want you to look at this part right here. Look at how pretty this lay de te, the shading looks, goes from light to dark. It's so lovely. I'm so excited about this really am so in this notebook one of the things oh this is not my notebook oh never mind grab the wrong one in one of my notebooks i actually write down kind of the the things about the pens that i like and don't like it's just my own personal kind of pen encyclopedia that i'm i'm creating whenever i do some research on it i just jot some things down but one of the things about a23 in fact i'll, I'll link that to just a regular a23 is that it is just a, a go-to pen as it is. And to have one with a falcon nib, I'm just, like I said, over the moon um, with it. So I don't know if this is something that you have heard of or if you know about this, or if you have an A23, let me know what you think about it. But I'm gonna just tell you, I can see why this is gonna be my new favorite pen, just is. And I love it in the amber. I, I have the other review that's also in the amber. And um, I just think it's a beautiful colored pen. And yes, I know that they have such a huge color variation in the A23. They have the amber and then the smoke. So I just didn't want yet another dark pen, a black one. So I just went, went ahead with this one. So anyway, so that's it. It's a, just a quick short review on this. Let me know what you think and i um, interested to hear your comments. And I will link both the Falcon Namiki video and also that my custom A23 regular, I think it's a medium nib one. No, fine. No, I don't remember. Anyway, the link's going to be down below. Until next time, bye.